Hey y'all, it's Courtney here with Sea Granny Bee Quilting and I have a dahlia quilt on my machine today and I'm placing individual patterns in each individual shape. And they're very odd shapes and as you know on our QCT program you only have a limited number of shapes that you can choose from as far as placing them and so it's very difficult to place an odd shape and get the pattern to sit inside it exactly where you want. So what I have figured out is a way to do that and the first thing that I do is I take a square ruler any size ruler that's big enough to cover your pattern will work and I place it on a line at the tip of the longest point of my shape, making sure that that line comes straight down to the bottom tip of my shape. And once that I have that lined up, I get my measurement, which in this case is eight and a quarter. And because we're going to use on point placement, we know that that is a square. And so if this is eight and a quarter, I'm going to move over from the right edge four and an eighth. And I'm going to put that four and an eighth mark again with the tip of the ruler, top of the ruler at the top tip and the four and an eighth mark lined up with the bottom tip. And I'm going to come over with my chalk pencil and I'm going to mark a pencil, a white mark at four and an eighth against the edge of the ruler here. And then to get the other side, I'm simply going to move the ruler to the right until I'm four and an eighth from the left. And once I'm four and an eighth from the left on both the top and the bottom, straight up and down, then I'm going to come over here at four and an eighth and I'm going to make another pencil mark. You can use whatever marking tool works best for you. In this case, I have a dark fabric, so the white chalk pencil works pretty good. Once I've done that, I'm going to move my sewing machine. I'm going to put my, my pattern placement on um, uh, tilted block and I'm going to place my, with my needle halfway down, not quite touching my fabric, but just above it. I'm going to hover over that chalk mark and I'm going to place my left node here and my bottom node here and my right node here and my top node here and that's going to place my pattern for me. So now that you've used your ruler to mark on your quilt where you need your quilting to go in order to get it in the right spot we're going to go into select and sew and we're going to check our get our pattern and I've already taken the time to outline with the marking tool for those of you who don't know you can go to your toolbox right here and click on marking tool and then you can go over here and use your add button and you can lower your needle down to where it's just above your fabric but not touching your fabric by going to the back of your machine and turning your wheel counterclockwise you can lower the needle down to where you can almost touch the fabric with it and then you can follow the outline of your seam line and get a pretty good shape of your exact shape so that when you place this you can tell if it's in the right place or not. So let's go back to placement now. And what we're going to do is we're going to move our machine until it is right over the chalk mark that we made on the left of the, of the shape. And we're going to click on the leftmost node. Then we're going to go to the tip of the shape and we're going to click on the top node and then we're going to go to the other chalk mark and we're going to click on the right node and then we're going to go to the bottom most point and we're going to click on the bottom node 
And what we see here now, if you can see this, is that our pattern is just a hair outside of our actual shape. So what we want to do is go back up to our chalk marks and move in just a hair on our left chalk mark and readjust that till it see how well that lined up now. And we're going to do the same thing over here on the right. We're going to go to our chalk mark and move in just a hair. And then we're going to click that. And let's try that one more time until that sits where we think it should. Actually, I think I'm going to adjust the other one just a little bit more also because I can still see that corner. There we go. Now I'm really happy with that. It's exactly on the lines. If you go back to our marking tool, you can see that it's exactly on the lines of the marking tool. Now the most outer portion. And, but what I want to do is make sure this little lock right here is locked. And then I'm going to tell it I want a 0.25 margin. And I'm going to say, OK. And now look at it. By the way, I was using on point placement for this. Um, I found that one worked the best for these particular shapes because it allowed me to click my node right in my bottom and top corners. Um, so that looks really good to me. So the next thing I would do is I'd go to quilt. But before I quilted anything on something like this, I always click trace first and let it start tracing where it needs to go and make sure that I'm absolutely pleased with where it's going to land inside that shape. So now that we've done that, um, we can quilt it. And I hope this helps you to place that odd pattern in that odd shape and get it just right. Happy quilting!